Speaker, the members of Massachusetts delegation say they were definitely moved by what they heard from President Zelensky today and the images of war that he showed them. However, they're still reluctant to give the Ukrainian president the one thing he wants most. Senators and House members rose to their feet and applauded loudly at the end of Zelensky's speech. But Massachusetts members say as he spoke, the auditorium was completely quiet. I saw his eyes begin to tear up a little bit emotionally. So uh, I felt myself feeling the same way. Local representatives say they agree with Zelensky's view that Russia's war on Ukraine is a battle for freedom and democracy. He reinforced the moral clarity of the moment that Ukraine is on the front lines of the free world right now and the American people need to continue to rally behind their cause. But so far, Massachusetts' all Democratic delegation has stopped short of supporting Zelensky's request for a no-fly zone over Ukraine because of the risk of a direct conflict between the U.S. and Russia. That's just a hot war right there. However, Congressman Stephen Lynch says he does support the idea of letting Poland give old Soviet-era fighter planes to Ukraine in exchange for new American ones. I would fully support replacing whatever Poland was to give to Ukraine. Local representatives say the ground-based anti-aircraft weapons the U.S. plans to send to Ukraine will also make a big difference. Congressman Jake Auchincloss says the U.S. should also be using cyber weapons against Russian forces in Ukraine. Disrupt their logistics nodes, disrupt command and control capabilities, and really bog down their already relatively incompetent ground advance. Congressman Stephen Lynch told me today that he will soon travel to Eastern Europe to show those countries that the U.S. supports them against further Russian aggression.